Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Saturday, February 20th, and uh, I was called yesterday or the day before about the appliance drop off, and uh, but they didn't, and they just said basically between eight and four or five, uh, or between nine and five, something like that. So it could come anytime. All right, so we get up at I think around 8.30, maybe nine o'clock this morning, and literally just kind of like starting to get my vlog done, to send out to you guys, and I see a truck pulling in the driveway. I'm like, no! So we had like, Megan, Carol, and I had to like scramble to empty the fridge, get everything, on, like uh, our stove has that drawer on the bottom with all of our, uh, pans and stuff in it, so we had to like empty all that stuff out. And the process, we forgot to take out our ice cube trays, so we lost our ice cube trays out of the freezer. It's funny, the guy brought in two um, things of jam that was fr that were frozen in the back of the freezer, and it just so happened to be uh, a lot of cars, kind of weird, all lights on, almost like a funeral parade. Um, yeah, so we got our fridge, our stove, our hood range. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and install my hood range today. Everything's there, like the electricity and everything, so it's just all about mounting it properly and getting rid of that old piece of crap. And uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't, haven't done a whole lot of food uh, recipe type videos in our kitchen, because it just, need, it, things needed to be replaced. So <laughs> now we've got a really nice, stove, oven, fridge, and it'll be much nicer aesthetics, I guess you could call it. Um, like a set, like a movie set. TV, television set. Like a set for a television show. Uh, yeah, right now I'm just going down to pick up a check, and then I'm going to the bank, and then I'm coming home to install the hood range. Hope everything goes smoothly, because I get very frustrated very quickly when things don't go my way. Another thing here, I just remembered, when, we, when, this, when the fridge was put in, uh, it comes with like a, because it's the stainless, smudgeless, fingerprintless, stainless steel, and, but it comes with like a protective plastic coating on it that you're supposed to pull off. And I guess it's when they were manufacturing them to stop them from getting accidentally scratched. So, but it's, it's almost like every piece of metal that had that protective plastic on it, I guess as soon as they make it, they wrap it, and then they actually put the fridge together with that wrapping on it, which makes sense, but now it's like pinned uh, between other things and trying to pull, it's not like you just pull it off nice and easy. You'd pull it off, then it would tear, and it's all stuck into the, the seams and crevasse, crevasses uh, of the fridge, so if you have, I think Megan did a pretty good job at trying to take it out because I, I just again get angry that it's you just can't just like peel it off. You have to peel it off and then it rips, and then you have to work even harder to try and get the rest of that crap off. Anyway, so off to uh, pick up my check. Okay, all finished up at the bank. I'm now heading to the dump because we have all that cardboard in the back uh, from the furniture delivery. Uh, Sears actually took away all their crap, so I'm glad about that. But uh, Bad Boy Furniture, they don't take away their crap, they just leave it silly. So I have to dispose of it. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Oh, I was going to tell you it's uh, 6 degrees in February, which is about 43 or almost just under 43 degrees Fahrenheit, which Last year at this time, it was like minus 20, like all month long. Uh, so now all the snow is pretty much gone, just ditches and stuff with snow in it. But uh, that's why you don't necessarily always have to shovel the driveway because it'll just melt. <laughs> anyway, so hit up the uh, dump when you just have cardboard to drop off because it's a recyclable thing you don't actually have to go into the dump there's a thing just in the driveway that just deals with all the cardboard stuff so 
I don't have to go through and get weighed and all that, which is good because I think I've gained weight. All right, here are the appliances. Uh, again, thanks to Megan <laughs> pulling off all the, the plastic that was coating this whole thing. Uh, but it's, uh, we went with a double door action. Look, we already got it full of stuff. A little nice big drawer on the bottom for the, the freezer stuff. Is it for anything frozen yet? Hmm, things are staying frozen. That's a good sign. And of course now our new stove. Uh, the gas guy won't be here till Monday, so we have no way of cooking food at the moment. That was bad, bad planning on our part. My part, I guess. So there you go, guys. Nice new appliance. Oh, and the hood range, which took forever to put up. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to install. Um, the cables or the hydro that goes up through into this cabinet, it was like, only gave me like this much extra. Usually they give you some wires to, to play with, but anyway, and uh, you can, you got your fan, you can shut everything off. Ooh, nice. Turn that on just for lighting. Nice, very cool. Of course we have a few things, all that kind of stuff used to be above the stove up there. And I don't think there's a whole lot of room up there. I think Paul has a, a really cool thing that will hold your spices and things, so we'll have to see. Anyway, let me turn that around so I can see if this is lighting good. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, so I uh, just thought I'd show you the new appliances. They look really cool with the new furniture. And uh, yeah, so everything's looking up. Sweet. And to finish off yesterday's vlog, uh, because we don't have a stove, uh, we went out to dinner, we went up to Applebee's. We wanted to go to a place called The Farmhouse, but it was packed, a uh, big long lineup. Um, that's in Barrie, and so we went over to Applebee's, got seated right away, we just locked out when people, a couple people, a couple tables just left. Uh, so we got seated immediately, and um, I had a stellar, or Stella, beer it was really good and uh, I also had the bourbon bourbon something bourbon I think bourbon bourbon street uh, sirloin or something like that it was really good um, there's what isn't a whole lot of vegetables on it. it was like the steak and potatoes and that was it they should have put some like something else on there carrots or something just to <laughs> give it some color, but it was good. I'll probably do a review on that in the near future. I haven't done anything at Applebee's um, Yeah, so and then we came home and we watched American Ultra, which is with uh, Jesse and that girl <laughs> Christian Kristen Kristen Stewart, that's it and uh, Yeah, it was half decent movie. It was it was a lot of fun and and uh, a lot of twists and turns and tons of violence, if you like that sort of thing. And yeah, that's what we did. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Sunday, February 21st, and they are Deanna, Cole, Andrew, Florian, David, Robert, and Dave. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Inquiry minds want to know. Happy birthday.